Hello, I'm Rod Balzer, President of Waste Control Specialists. In 2011, we're finally seeing the progress we've worked years to achieve. I'm proud to report construction is underway on both the federal and compact low-level radioactive waste landfills at our Andrews County site. The compact disposal facility is the first project of its kind to be built in the United States in more than 30 years. This historic project will protect public health and the environment by offering a safe, secure, and permanent disposal option for low-level radioactive waste that is currently stored in urban areas. Of course, this success is only possible because of our great partners, the communities of Andrews, Texas, and Eunice, New Mexico. The $75 million in construction financing approved by Andrews voters is being put to good use. Machines are moving and dirt is flying at our construction site. We expect the compact landfill to be completed and begin disposal operations later this year. The federal landfill will be completed and begin disposal operations in early 2012. For its part, the Texas Compact Commission approved a rule in January that sets up a framework for generators to obtain export and import agreements for their low-level radioactive waste. Through prudent management, this will allow the Compact Commission to maximize the compact disposal facility's effectiveness. This included at least five public hearings and three months of public comment. It also included dozens of newspaper and TV reports about the site, as WCS hosted reporter visits from throughout the state. The compact facility is designed to provide a permanent solution to the low-level waste that is now in temporary storage. And with a disposal capacity of 2.3 million feet, it will have more than enough space for the foreseeable future. A capacity assessment found the facility will have more than 1 million cubic feet of excess capacity, even after reserving 20% of capacity for Vermont, the only other state in the Texas Compact. In advance of disposal operations, WCS continues to update our rate application with the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. Domestic importation will allow WCS to provide cost-effective disposal rates for compact generators and obtain economic stability for the compact disposal facility. Disposal operations will economically benefit both Andrews County and the state of Texas. Each entity will receive 5% of gross revenue from low-level radioactive waste disposal. In advance of the site opening, WCS is currently working with potential customers to secure disposal contracts. Because landfill space for out-of-compact generators is likely to be limited, potential customers should contact WCS as soon as possible to discuss a disposal solution. With all the activity going on at our site, safety is always a priority. WCS has now worked over three and a half years without a single lost time accident, a milestone that others in our field might envy. Along with personal safety, WCS also puts a premium on environmental safety. After all, that is what we do. We manage and dispose of toxic, hazardous, and low-level radioactive waste. Permanently isolating this waste does two things. It protects society and it protects the environment. To make sure the facility does not become a burden on taxpayers, WCS will provide more than $136 million in financial assurance with the state before we dispose of a single cubic foot of waste. If for some unseen reason the site had to be closed, which is highly unlikely, this money will cover the cost of closure and monitoring at no expense to the state. Another example of our commitment to environmental protection is the fact that we've made 560 borings to ensure we are not near a water source. We have 460 monitoring wells we measure monthly, and we sample 190 monitoring wells on a quarterly basis. But back to our biggest news. Landfill construction is going full bore, and that means we're hiring people to operate the disposal facilities once they open. For more information, please visit our website, wcstexas.com. As always, WCS continues to work with the community of Andrews and the state of Texas to ensure open, transparent communications about our activities. When we look back on 2011, it will be noteworthy for this reason. The Texas solution, which was once a promise, became a reality in 2011.